Folks, welcome back. I have one patron named Douglas M, and he said, Rudy, I'm willing to pay you $2,000 for a special box of Monarch. And I told the guy, boy, do I got a special box for you. This is the all-new High Ventilation Forklift 2.369, one-pack smushed in the middle, so it has like a, almost like an inverted spoiler on the back of a, a souped-up 90s car. What do you guys think? Dude, low mileage. One original owner, Batman. What, what can go wrong? Nah, I'm kidding. We won't do that to the patron. All right, folks. We This is only the second video we've done. Uh, yeah, that first box opening of Monarch a few days ago was out of control. Flipping cold foil. What was it, Eclipse? It was like a legendary cold foil with like some ridiculous market price of like $1,500. So, will box two continue on the path of hopes and dreams? Good luck, Douglas. Godspeed, sir. You're going to need it. I think it was uh, one, two, three. Oh, that crazy tree. So it was three, six. Oop, hey, play bat. There we go. Seven. Was it eight? And I can't remember how many. Nine, ten. I can't remember. Was it like ten or eleven? Okay. Okay. Whoa. Wait, okay, wait. So eleven. I, I got to remember that. Okay. Right out of the gate, our first. God, you can barely even see the foil. I got the lighting a little bit different, so I guess this did not help the foiling. So, Mutated Mass, some ridiculous looking monster dude in the middle of a building hallway. Foil Mythic, starting out right out of the gate. We got the Iron Held Rudy Head, regular rare, and beautiful invigorating light. I don't remember that one in the other box. And Crack Bobble. So, Monarch was obviously a huge success around the world. Um, God, I cannot unsee that artwork, man. Three, six, <laughs> nine, ten, eleven. And I believe that is our foil rare. Dimensional Gateway and Hooves of the Shadow Beast for the common. And of course, another Gateway and a Seek Horizon for the regular rares. Yeah, box prices are pretty stable right now. Different parts of the world, I've seen as low as 400 and as high as 600, bouncing around like crazy. Uh, good news is they did not go completely out of control, and the market is finding its nice stable spot. Beautiful Herald of Protection for the Foil Common. Some nice little time skippers. Nice little card there. And Merciful Retribution. And another majestic Mark of the Beast. You know, I've told you all before, how can you not like Bolton? I was not a fan of Brute as the whole class and the RAR. It just, it just never did anything for me. But man, that whole Shadow Brute completely has changed my perspective of everything. Like, I'm like, you know, I, I, I may have to reevaluate that, folks. And right here, Brondish for the foil common. We've got some plate action for the actual armor. Beautiful rise above for the rare. And convulsions from the bellows of hell. Can you imagine the artist, uh, Jasada, painting this thing? Can you imagine what, like, the original art of that thing looks like? It's got to be flipping it. Galaxy Black, and I still have not seen it, but I've heard there is a alternate art, kind of a little uh, Easter egg of that card. I have not seen it, though. <laughs> I'd like to see it eventually. Three, six, nine, and ten, eleven. Ooh, you herald of it. Look at the angel. I I'm happy that some of the cards pop more. One of the biggest uh, feedback loops that we've gotten, not loops, feedback just cycles of just people's opinion, is that too much of the art, oh, wow, soul, I have not, whoa, okay. I have not seen this Majestic yet. Soul Food. Put Soul Food all cards in your hand into your serious soul. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that was one of the um, the feedback a lot of people have been saying that come from Magic and different card games. are saying too much of the art kind of blends together. And I was like, at least, so it's happy for me to see cards like more, like are actually more colorful and different types. So they can actually, they all don't kind of blur. It's kind of nice to see some that actually show a little bit of a differentiation is that a nice big word for you all? Rifted Torment for the Foil Common. We got some fold action. V of the Bond God and Seeping Shadows. So, anyway, I'm just that's just kind of uh, interesting to see the uh, the world's opinion. Does that make sense? All right, here we go. I, I'm surprised a lot of people didn't like the artwork for that playmat. I was very surprised. I thought I kind of liked it better, but that's just me. Shows everyone is different. Am I right? And look at that, folks, the spew shadow. That is nuts looking, okay? Ah, my favorite art in the set. The lady in the red dress. 
I need to find the Legend Story Studios. If you're watching, I want that original art. Let me throw money at your face. Goodness gracious, that is gorgeous. Alt Muscle for the rare, and of course, Dark Path Pilgrimage, and nothing better than your giant nasty meat axe. It happens, folks. Sometimes you need a meat axe. What is this? What's that other meme card? The stubby thing? There's a stubby piece of armor. It's just hilarious. It's like a flipping meme stubby armor or something. It's just hilarious. Pound for pound, and here we go. Hungering a slaughter beast for the common. Galantry gold. Elt muscle for the rare. And a... Ooh, I have not seen you. What is... Look at this chick's swords. What do you think I was going to say? What's wrong with you all? Look at that. That is ridiculous looking. A generic attack. There's not many generic attacks like this and that are majestic. Well, exude confidence isn't defended by a card with equal or greater attack. The defending hero can't play or activate instance. Okay, so it pretty much prevents them from reacting. Pay three. Gains a plus two. Almost only if it's attacking. Dude, that is wild art, man. Holy smoke. Exude confidence. That woman is just like... You want to screw with me? Let's go. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I think I'm going to back away. Ah! Okay. Cold foil. Completely just slapped me in the chalupa. Okay. Cold foil common. Not the greatest Douglas, but geez, that looks so good. Wow. That purple, man. So we do have the cold foil. It was a common. We did not hit the home run in this box like we did the first one. Still a gorgeous... I, <laughs> You know, it's funny because even bad cold foils, like even, or I guess bad one, I just say the common ones. <laughs> even common gold foils are like one to two hundred dollars. No joke. It's like, okay, well, that's, you know, it's a nice way to put a, a nice floor price on everything. Belittle for the foil common. Dream Weavers. Soul Harvest. God, look at the, look at that woman. That woman is out of control. I still want to take her to Panera Bread. Hell from beyond, that is when you don't go to the doctor. No joke, folks. So, overall, again, too soon to talk about financial value and all the different rares in Mythic, the regular set cards. God, the Angels. Great job on the Angels. So, like I said, there's, there's, there's a lot of really cool things, but anyways, Foil Common. And we got Dream Weavers, Hallowed, and Invert ex Existence is our Majestic. Very, very nice. Okay. Make sure we're... Not bad. Anyways, moving on, folks. Gonna see how this unfolds here. Overall, I have seen videos, though, folks, of a double cold foil box. It is a real thing. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. Ooh, void. Dude, this is the creepiest artwork. Like, can someone tell me what is going on with that artwork? Nice looking halo there. Nice looking tremor and a battlefield blitz. Anyway, I just want to comment. We'll, we'll talk about the market conditions at the end here. We only got a couple minutes left here. We're already towards the end of the box here. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, and another spew shadow. This time with a yellow pitch. My favorite piece of art in the set. Alt muscle and a glisten. Whew, look at that art and a really cool hat. That this hatchet reminds me of a Diablo item. I'm just gonna say it. Like I see the artwork on that hatchet, the way it's like a. Like, it's just a, a piece of equipment, just like the way it's on the card and the way it's drawn. Just looks like a just a piece of loot you pick up, no joke. And, ah, Eclipse Existence, that is the, I believe that's TCG player promo card. Herald of Judgment, very nice. And a Prismatic Shield. She looks pretty upset, no joke. She looks pretty hardcore, folks. Don't think I would want to get on the wrong side of that woman. She looks like she would just ruin me. All right, three, six, nine. 1011 and a Shadow of Urser. Look at that. I have not seen that foil mythic. It's the very that's our second foil mythic of the box. I have not seen that card. Phantasmify. Beautiful young lady there. Beacon of Victory. This is uh looks like Mr. Bolton there. Um I have not seen wow, there's a lot of it. So there's 350 cards in the set. So there's been a lot of talk about that. Like, what does that mean? Even even with the higher print run compared to the previous sets. But the set is so big. Nice. Oh, that card's creepy. What does that mean for the quantity? Rare, invalid. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, what does that mean? If the quantity is higher in the print run, but the set size is massive, doesn't that kind of make the print, the quantity per card not much different? I just want to lay that out there. War Tune Herald for the Foil Common, another Halo. And a Captain's Call for the Rare, and another Endless Maw. That is a yellow pitch Endless Maw. Our uh, foil was a blue pitch. 
Remember, yellow pitch is always two, and the uh, the blue is always three. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, and a glisten for the foil rare. But yeah, I was thinking about another glisten and both yellow pitch, okay, and seek horizon because I was like, you know, I don't know if there's really going to be a huge because a lot of people have been talking about like there's been a lot of chatter like oh Rudy. You know, the card prices are going to drop a lot, this and that, because, you know, they increased the print run, and I was like, yeah, but I, I don't know. I'm not really sure how this is going to un unfold long term, because, I mean, if you double the print run, but the set size is almost double the size of a small crucible set, you guys do understand that almost makes the quantity of certain cards almost the same. God, look, look at that blood tribute. Oh, my goodness. That is nuts. And Rudy's favorite piece of art in the set. V for the Von God and another Herald of Judgment. So anyways, last couple packs here. We're down to last four packs. I love the every other light dark pack. Good evil. I think that's just such a nice touch to the booster box, you know. But no, I, I was just like, you know, I don't know if the market's going to price this correctly. And I know with at the beginning, the card prices drop and overload. Foil common. Some legs. Ooh, Soul Harvest for some creepiness. And a Mutated Mask for a non-foil Majestic. That was our uh, first foil. Yeah, that was our first foil Majestic. Uh, both with blue pitch. I don't, I don't know if you can... Actually, I don't think Majestics have a different pitch. I think they're only available in one. I could be wrong. Not, not 100%. I haven't opened up enough Monarch. This is only my second Monarch box opening, so... Still not 100% professional on this set. Prismatic Shield. Unhallowed Rites. Dude, look at her. Look at the hand on the face, man. God, lay it, dude. Le Levy, dude, this Ch Levy is just out of control looking, man. All right, folks, last two packs of the video, and we're calling it quits already. We're wrapping it up here. You ready? And Seek Horizon for the foil rare. And nice little iron leaf. Consuming Aftermath in another gateway. And look at old Kane back here. Last pack of the box. I'll give you guys my final closing opinion on what I see, what's going on here. Overall, nice smooth release here, and ending on a Phantasmify foil rare, Convulsions in the Beddows of Hell. Ooh, Soul Reaping. I don't remember that one in the packs or the box so far. Okay, so in conclusion here, overall, Douglas, unfortunately, you did get the foil cold, or I'm sorry, cold foil common. Besides that, it, these boxes so far seem pretty consistent. Five to six Majestics that are actually regular, usually between about one to three of the foils. Um, I do notice it feels like we're getting a little bit less in the foil rares, though, and more of the foil commons. I almost feel like that's been shifted a little. I noticed that in the last video. Anyways, other than that, I just want to give everyone a final comment. I know not many people are watching this late in the video. Um, I am keeping a personal close eye. I'm going to give you my personal opinion. And I've noticed the um, you can find some really cheap uh, Monarch first edition boxes for around that. Like I've seen 390 to about 425 range. And I'm telling you right now, I'm keeping an eye on those prices because... Um, I want to have a large position for the future, and um, I would definitely be paying attention when these prices are weak for people willing to dump the product now that it's kind of the newness is going to wear off, because um, the expected value of these cards, you could open the box, and on average, you can get 500 plus per box, on average. That's literally with a common cold foil. Like, if you hit Majestics and Legendaries like we did in the other video, you're hitting 500 $1,000 plus cards. Libraries, which is a fabled, which is one every, what, 40 boxes? On average, it's, I mean, they're asking 10000 a card. On average, they're selling for between five and 7000 a card, for the, which is one every 40 boxes. Just be aware, folks. We're going to see a short-term dip, but there are no more boxes coming. And I'm warning you all right now, just like with Crucible of War, if these box prices dip, just keep an eye on it. That's all I have to say.